I know yeah. this is one that I was calling garden spackle. <laughs> this is very hot in the world of gardening. This is problem solving. This is customizing your garden. This is filling in any blanks that you need filled in because it's a perennial, but this yes. is winter hardy cut and plant succulent mat. Now you're getting a mat of sedum that is 10 yes. inches by 20 inches. Use it on vertical walls, cascading over stone walls, rooftops, borders along driveways. Philip, you said that, look at that. We can, we can plug this in anywhere. You absolutely can. And again, it is a great problem solver. Everybody's got a spot for this. I planted these at the end of my driveway, which is black asphalt because it's hot, it's dry, there's gravel there. Sometimes I don't stay on the driveway. <laughs> and even if I run over it with my car, it doesn't kill it. It comes right back up and they are there for good. I use these on gardens that I do in Aspen, Colorado and down in Jackson, Mississippi. But you're getting this tapestry. You see all the different foliage colors and textures in there. See the narrow foliage? Guess what that is? What you is didn't that? mention those. What is it? Ice plant. Oh, I didn't we know that. A rainbow of ice plants. So it's not just a sedum that you're used to seeing. This also has got the ice plants in it, multicolors, to increase the amount, the volume of blossoms during the course of the summer that the butterflies love. Boom, boom, boom in your garden. Between the stepping stones at the edge of pots and the front edge of your border where you typically just see mulch, uh, it is a go-to and a number one problem solving plan. Now, I yeah. know, I'll speak for myself because there might be some folks watching right now. That's the tray that you're gonna get. But Philip, when I first saw sedum, I saw people like you on QVC who are experts just cutting it and plugging it in wherever. Is it really that easy? No, I'm lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy. <laughs> It. It's very easy. Nope, it was all lies. <laughs> it's all lies. Uh, this is what I love. It's on the, look, it's got a cocoa mat on the back that holds everything okay. together. You can cut these into two by two inch squares and get about 50 out of each one. And uh, I space them, you know, I leave about three gaps between them because they'll fill in. You don't need to fill in solid with it because it spreads so easily. And if you don't feel like cutting it, you just pull pieces off. Like you pull it apart. Don't be afraid. Jump I'm not afraid. It. I'm not afraid. Every honey, every little piece that falls off that doesn't even have a root, throw that on the ground. It'll root by itself. I wow. throw them back in the old tray and get them going again because they're that kind of easy. But you saw the, saw the one that we're shipping. Say if you don't get around to planting yours for a month. Well, after a month, Ooh. then the one in the tray is still going to look like this. This is what happens even if you don't plant it. I've got one out in my driveway, half of one, by the way, that's been in the driveway now for three years. Oh Every now gosh. and then I'll run the hose over it. It's not planted, it's sitting on the hot asphalt. These don't die. I love it. And if love you it. if you have a tough spot in your garden, you've been looking for something just to fill in, you wanna fill in an area around those hard to water areas, this is yes. what you need to order. Folks are, but it's the only order of the season. When it's gone, you won't see it again until 2022, if that. So we do have three easy payments of $7.32. Remember, everything in the show is on free shipping and handling. We're moving on in the show, Philip. It's fast and furious this morning, but it's <laughs> M71265. This one is your cut and plant mat. This is the one that I referred to earlier in the show as garden speckle. If you're Googling yes. that, I'm sorry, I made that term up. We're actually calling it the winter hardy cut and plant succulent mat. But pick this up before it's gone and enjoy all of that beautiful color, all of that beautiful coverage. But when we wrap up, I wanna see this last image. Oh, Philip, that right there is a goal for my yes. own garden. I know so many people watching right now. I, I love that, and you don't even have to plan them. Just mash them in. This is what I say, less work, more pretty. I love it. Well, Philip, we are continuing yes. on in the show. If you've missed anything in the show, please go to items recently on air. We're planning our gardens. But right now, it's time for the big show. Time for the show stopper. It's hardy. Uh -huh. It's drought tolerant. 